Hey everyone, this is uh, just a different video uh, to the others that I kind of do with uh, the Raspberry Pi and so on. Um, it's just kind of um, playing around with this, uh, something called um, conductive inks, um, which uh, I'm kind of following a guy on uh, YouTube at the moment called Robert Murray Smith, and he's um, quite talented with uh, the creation of these inks. Um, however, at the moment I'm, I'm waiting for mine to come through, but uh, being as impatient as I am, I kind of crudely um, hacked together kind of what it was explaining. I mean, I'll put a link to the original video that I followed, and you can see the principle, but essentially what it means is uh, there's a way of actually creating electricity uh, by the way um, certain elements behave. Um, I won't go into the detail because A, I'm not as skilled as this guy and uh, B, I'll just make a hash of it and I'll just tell you wrong and it'll be incorrect. However, so here it goes. So what we've got here, I'll just explain um, if I tilt this slightly. So what I've got is I've got a piece of aluminium foil. Underneath that is um, zinc oxide with a mixture of PVA glue, um, standard stuff that you would get from, uh, I think I got this from B&Q, this stuff here, uh, nothing special, you know, just what it says on the tub in a sense. So, so it literally is it then, so you've got um, tin foil, aluminium oxide mixed in with glue, so like a 50-50 mix, and then in here, now this is a um, graphite powder and again the PVA glue. Um, Robert Murray Smith actually sells a, um, a conductive ink which will be a hell of a lot better than this but this just goes to show the principle but it's, it's, it's pretty good. So what you've got then is uh, also a layer of copper. So if, if you build up on, from the layer of the paper you've got a, a layer of copper tape which is this stuff here. Uh, this is a, a kind of a slug repellent that you can get from, I got it from home base. It's 399 roll, 4 metres, but it gives you plenty to play around with. So you put the copper tape down first, then you paint your ink, uh, sorry, the ink, um, graphite powder mixed in with your PVA glue over the top. Uh, let that dry. I speed it up using a hairdryer, but you can leave it overnight, do whatever you want with it. Then you put on your zinc oxide with your PVA glue, paint that across, uh, and before that dries, slap down your aluminium foil. And essentially, this is what you get. From the in my little office at the moment, I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels warm. Uh, so I hazard a guess it's probably around 20 to 23 degrees. But I've got the thermometer in here. But so if we just put um, one pot on the copper, one pot on the aluminium, you can see we go up. Oops, let me hold that steady correctly. I'm trying to not make a hash of this at the same time. I am making a hash of this because I'm probably connecting. There we go, it's steadily going up. I don't know whether I'm pressing this in the wrong place, but had this well up into um, 0.6 volts. And it. So I'll say three at the moment, or point three of a volt. However, I've got oh, it's really hot. This is um, recently boiled water. So if I just move those out of the way. So what should happen with this is we see an increase in electricity made. Not as much as I thought, but... Now whether there's a maximum temperature for this all to happen, or whether the, the glue is drying out, not too sure, but... It just shows the principle that you can get less electricity for free, if you want. Uh, just by using this, we don't. The, the, I was getting the results uh, better, but what I'll do is I'll stop the video now. That just gives you the basics. If you want to play around with that stuff, uh, all in all, to do this experiment, it probably cost me 20 25 pounds all in all. Uh, but it's a good way to tinker around, and then you can play around with what other. But I would suggest uh, if you can subscribe to uh, Robert's uh, channel. 
he's coming out with some uh, quite good stuff recently and um, it's very interesting. Anyway, that's it for a Sunday. Okay, thanks.